But I just scheduled a pitch meeting for tomorrow, and I'd like you to be there. Oh, I'd love to. To serve peppermint hot chocolate. I really wanted to make my mom proud. I took this job because I want to be a journalist. Hope, your mom was already super proud of you. Sorry to hear about your mom. Someone left this at my door. Christmas, Joe. Maybe one of the neighbors dropped it. The first person you ask is going to take it from you. I think people are better than that. I don't know what world you live in, but I can assure you they're not. I discovered a message board of jar recipients. I found this jar at my door. Someone actually wanted to do something nice for me. That changed everything. This whole thing is totally snowballed, and some people have now been inspired to start jars of their own. Where do you think this idea came from? And that's what I want to figure out and write about. I'm dying to know who's behind this. What if they don't want their story told? I always knew there was a reason I went DC over Marvel. Detective Comics, hey. Okay? Oh! There is a long history of journalists in this country going undercover for the sake of a good story. Well, you know I'm not really stalking him. You seem to know what you're doing out here. I should. Let's see what you got. <gasps> Where do you come from? Everybody likes a good love story. My son's a romantic. Thanks, Dad. Listen, we have to be really quick. <laughs> Mom's the word. Still haven't told them yet? Why well, I can't yet. I haven't exactly been honest with the Maxwells. Don't fight it. Embrace it. This jar filled with change. It renewed my faith. And now you want to pull the plug. We're running the Christmas jar store and that's final. I mean, I'm scared. Scared of what? I'm scared of this moment. These jars are proof that the magic of Christmas is real. That's the real spirit of giving. 